biggest hurdle that is there when you want to tackle needle stick injuries is ignorance and be fear of punishment. Government has a pivotal role to reduce the needle stick injuries. First of all, it should be a mandate to report the number of needle stick injuries from every hospital or private sector or government hospital or whatever. So every hospital should publish its needle stick injury data, then and then only we will we'll get to know the exact problem. And also, you know, it's a mandatory quality uh, indicator for certain accredited hospitals. So we need to know the exact burden of this problem. We have also told the staff there should not be any hesitation in reporting because prevention again in case they have landed up in a needle stick injury and they don't know the viral status of a patient but if patient becomes positive after 15 days or a one month patient is not going to come back and inform them. Their safety is in their hand only. We perform a lot of regular audits by the infection control team on uh, what are the, you know, how the devices are managed, especially sharp devices are managed within the hospital. To add to this, we have a passive surveillance mechanism in which needle stick injuries are reported as quality indicators. The study of the EpiNet data for four Indian hospitals revealed that of the 243 sharp injuries in 50 months of the study, the highest occurrence of NSI seen among nurses at 55% followed by housekeeping at 20%. When you club it with training, retraining and institution protocol, you can reduce it even further down to 90%. We also had made sure that every patient bedside has a sharp container for a timely disposal. And disposal should be done only by the person who is using the needles or the sharp. They should not hand over to the second person. We also have done a training for the housekeeping people in their local language. Wherever they see a sharp on the floor or a needle on the floor, either they use heavy duty gloves or they use a RT forceps. They should not try picking up with their hands. We also made sure that we don't use a cannula which can be reinserted. We focused on a single use cannula. Orientation programs of any hospital must concentrate on the needle stick injuries as well. You train people and they leave. So a continuous program of training is the, is the requirement for the NAR. It is also my responsibility to ensure the right equipment is also used. Whether it is needles, whether it's cannulas, uh, with all the safety features which are there. So it is my responsibility to advise to our hospitals, infection control committee, our purchase departments to ensure that they are buying the right thing and giving us the right equipment for us. A study conducted between December 2014 and November 2016. 452 NSIs, 44.8% of these were during device use, followed by 28.5% after withdrawal before disposing and 14.8% before recapping. Uh, the most uh, helpful key initiative is, you know, engineering, engineering controls. So if you take the global literature like American Nurses Association and CDC, so it's very clear that with adopt, when you adopt safety devices, you can reduce your needle stick injuries by 80%. Safety devices and catheters have helped and overall the dangers of needle stick injuries have come down in the recent past. Treatment is more, I mean, thousand times costlier than the preventions. More focus is on prevention. So we tried saying all the staff, it is uh, to practice single syringe, single needle, single patient, single use and discard appropriately. Practice safe and be free from needle stick injuries. Be careful and make you and your colleagues safe. We as a healthcare provider needs to be careful about ourselves because only we if we save ourselves, we can save others. Let's take an oath that we should offer a very safe and healthy environment for the staff who depend on our policies and I think I wish all the best.